how did Iran succeed in becoming one of the few countries to design and operate an indigenous attack helicopter? The Tufan helicopter, with its unique technical features and advanced technologies, has become one of the country's most important military aviation projects. In this video, you will learn about the design process, specifications, and defensive applications of this advanced aircraft. Stay with us as we explore this remarkable achievement of Iran's aerospace industry. As you can see, the Taufan attack helicopter is one of the defense achievements of the Islamic Republic of Iran. It was designed and indigenized based on the American AH-1J Cobra. The first version was unveiled in 2010, and the second version followed in 2013. The project's primary goal was to enhance combat capabilities and counter-armored threats. In previous decades, Iran undertook the Panha 2091 and Shababa's 2091 projects. These were aimed at upgrading Cobra helicopters domestically. Iranian engineers later independently developed the Tofan project with indigenous technology. This project marked a milestone in Iran's ability to design combat helicopters. The Tufan's airframe uses a combination of aluminum alloys and high-strength steel. Its two-seat cockpit is protected with multi-layer bulletproof glass. Precise welding and casting processes were used to produce the airframe. This design has increased the helicopter's survivability and durability in combat. The Tufan is equipped with two powerful turboshaft engines for high performance. The engines are of the T400WV402 type each producing 1,700 horsepower. The redesigned transmission system can withstand greater flight stress. These features allow the two fan to conduct extended and heavy operations. The helicopter's maximum speed is estimated between 230 and 240 kilometers per hour. Its operational range is estimated at around 500 to 600 kilometers. The design of the main and tail rotors provides excellent maneuverability in battle. These capabilities allow for missions in low altitude and difficult terrains. The two fan is equipped with multifunction digital displays and a heads-up display, HUD. GPS and inertial navigation systems provide precise positioning capabilities. A central weapons management computer helps enhance mission control. These avionic systems improve both operational efficiency and mission safety. The helicopter is armed with a 20mm M197 triple-barreled cannon mounted in the nose. It can also carry 70mm rocket launchers and two-fan anti-armor missiles. The combination of heavy weaponry greatly increases its destructive power. These weapons make the two-fan one of the region's most powerful anti-armor helicopters. The two fans targeting system includes thermal cameras and optical sensors. Stabilized cameras and laser designators improve targeting accuracy. Night vision systems and helmet mounted displays further boost mission precision. These features allow the two fan to detect and strike targets accurately at night. The cockpit and critical components are covered with armor plating. The cockpit's multi-layer glass is resistant to bullets and shrapnel. A missile warning system activates in case of threat detection. These protective measures ensure crew survivability in combat zones. Electronic countermeasure systems detect and jam enemy signals. Flares and chaff are used to divert heat-seeking missiles. Secure communication systems are installed for battlefield information sharing. These capabilities make the two fan resistant to modern threats. The two-seat cockpit places the gunner in front and the pilot in the rear. Digital displays provide vital flight and weapons data to the crew. The HUD and control systems enhance crew response time and accuracy. The cockpit is designed to remain functional even under emergency conditions. The two fan was designed and optimized for combat operations with a two-person crew. Its empty weight is about 2.8 tons, with a takeoff weight of 4.5 tons. This allows it to carry a large amount of fuel and weapons. The internal space is optimized for both functionality and safety. The main rotor features two composite blades with a 13 meter diameter. The four blade tail rotor counters torque and provides directional control. 
An advanced transmission system manages the output of the engines. This design enhances the two fan's stability and overall flight performance. Technologically, the two fan is behind the AH-1Z Viper and China's Z-10. However, it has received significant upgrades compared to the AH-1J and AH-1S. By combining indigenous technologies, it has met many of Iran's operational needs. Replacing Iran's aging Cobras with the tow fan was a major defense industry success. The two fan has been deployed operationally by both Iran's army and IRGC units. Its main mission is to destroy enemy tanks and armored vehicles. It has been tested in various exercises by both the army and IRGC. These missions have demonstrated its combat capabilities and operational reliability. The two fan has participated in drills such as the Great Prophet 12 exercise. Its performance in ground attack and reconnaissance has been successful. These experiences have increased the military's confidence in domestic capabilities. Operational drills have provided valuable feedback for improvements and upgrades. So far, no official export of the tow fan to other countries has been reported. Iran's Ministry of Defense has focused mainly on domestic military needs. There have been rumors of potential export negotiations, but none confirmed. Currently, the Tawafan remains operational only within the Iranian Armed Forces. Two official versions, Tawafan 1 and Tufan 2, have been introduced and deployed. The Tufan 2 features improved avionics and targeting systems. No further versions have been officially announced or presented. The existing versions are fully designed and produced by Iranian engineers. The Tufan project marks a turning point in Iran's helicopter self-sufficiency. The airframe, rotors, bulletproof glass, and electronic parts are domestically produced. A domestic supply chain was established, and engineers' expertise was enhanced. This project became a successful model for developing other combat systems. The Tufan is considered a major advancement in Iran's defense and military aviation industries. Future projects, such as the development of the Jahesh 700 engine, will enhance flight power. The introduction of next-generation Iranian helicopters will continue this success path. This trend will further strengthen Iran's combat capabilities and increase national security.